Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me a link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today we're looking at something very snazzy. So we're looking at the LXCV Matador Mark II which is this lovely thing right here. A space car that has Gatling guns, rockets on it, doors that fold up and a self-destruct sequence. So everything you need on the perfect ship. Pressing F10 and finding the Matador in the spawn menu, there we go. This thing is 786 small blocks requiring the decorative block number 2 DLC pack. If you do not have that DLC pack you can still spawn this in, is purely there for the transparent LCD screens which you can ultimately go without. So we're going to start by taking a look around the outside, then we're going to put it into combat against the Albatross like last time and that will be it. If you're interested in the skybox a link to it will be in the description below, below this ship's link. Yes it's a very nice skybox, very colourful and adds a nice glow to the world. So coming around to the very front of our small ship, We've got four spotlights to light up the darkness and two sneaky Gatling guns to blast your enemies with, a central rocket launcher just for some extra damage and four interior lights just to make sure you don't have to waste power on those spotlights. We have a white bumper in front which is going to help you mitigate a few bits of damage if you crash into something at a slowish speed. Coming around the side we've got a very sleek body on this ship and then we can see two cargo access points where you can put some uranium into it. Uranium is how this is going to be primarily powered, we do have a couple small batteries inside it, but yes you will want to make sure you're socked up on uranium if you're using this in survival mode. Coming across to the side we've got some iron thrusters which is the only form of thrust which appears on this ship, so do be aware if you're going to try and land this on an earth like planet. The thrusters have been housed in this little raised out part to make sure they're nice and safely hidden away and it acts as a small form of protection. Moving across around we come to this part right here which I was not expecting when I spawned it in. We've got a doorway that if we press that button it will fold up and allow you to access inside. Then once you're in your seat you can fold it back down and lock it. That's the same on both sides. So it's just on a rotor which will just fold all the way up. Got a fake wing mirror on there made out of unfinished interior light and we've got our small window blocks there to allow you to view in and out. As we move across towards the back we've got a small heat vent part type thingy, I completely forgot what it's called, my mind is everywhere today, but yes we've got that lovely little piece right there. Coming around to the very back this is our main thrust to push us forwards, one large ion thruster and eight small ion thrusters which allows you to get some decent speed in a short amount of time got four interior lights which are your brake lights which you can turn off if you want to. Yes that is the back of it in a nice curved out shape. Coming up and above we've got even more ion thrusters, a nice lot there, so we've got 16 on the top to help us go down and some more little vent parts going along there made out of the small sloped blocks. Coming across to where I'm standing, fat character please bugger off, there we go. We can now view down into the cockpit area with our small control seat and our passenger seat. In front of each seat we've got a cargo container and a transparent LCD screen which is coming from that DLC pack. So like I said if you don't have that pack you're not going to be missing much on this ship. But this is our internal view, we've got LCD screens galore showing us our time, our speed, our gravity and our artificial horizon. Just coming around and looking at the back here, we've got another transparent LCD screen, a little camera there in case you need a centralized view and two sound blocks if you want to blast some music. Coming up and continue along the front, please character I said to get off the ship, there we go. We can move along to the front where we've got some more little vent parts and this raised white block that comes all the way to the front and then we can come down and underneath. So underneath here what do we have? We've got some more cargo containers which have been covered up by an unfinished window block and even more ion thrusters. Right there we have a landing gear which we can use to snap ourselves onto a perfectly flat grid, but on rough terrain like a moon or something you might have troubles trying to clamp yourself down, but it's still there and still very useful. 
moving along to the back of the ship, there's not too much else to talk about. It's just a lovely flat area using the clean block skin. And that about covers the outside of the Matador Mark II. It's a bloody fantastic ship. I don't know what it is about it. I think it is all the little tiny bits of detail on it, like the folding door, the way the interior has been set up, the spotlights at the front, the hidden Gatling guns and all that. Yes, now I need to find my character wherever I've gone. I think I've just been falling for a very long time. Let's now go and head on inside. So like I said, we can come up to the door and press this button and it will fold up and allow you to get inside. It's a very neat way of getting in and out of this ship. Then coming around to the opposite side, we can once again press the button and access our passenger seat. So getting into the cockpit, this is our first person view. And if I was to bring up the HUD and press number two, we can then lower the doors all the way down. So there we go, that door's now closing up and that door has closed. Once they're all closed, we can press number three and turn off the rotors, locking them in place. As for the rest of the buttons on the first tab, number five is going to be for our interior lights on and off. Number six will be for our brake lights and the back like that. And number seven will be for our front interior lights like so. Number nine is for our antenna on and off. And then coming over to tab number two, we've got some controls over our power. Number one and number two are for our small and large batteries to put them into recharge. Number three is for our reactor on and off. And number four is to switch on and off our ion thrusters. Tab number three is where the fun stuff is. So number one is going to be to shoot our rocket launcher, like so. Look at that go. Nice bit of damage from that single rocket launcher to whatever you hit. Number two will be to shoot our hidden Gatling guns. And number four, ooh, number four and number five, my favorite buttons on this ship. Pressing number four, we can arm our warhead. And then pressing number five, we can start the self-destruct sequence, where after a few seconds, we blow up and destroy every single block on that ship, leaving no trace whatsoever. I don't even know where my character has gone. There he is. I just come and spawn that in once again. So coming back into this, we can do a quick thruster test, and then we can go and shoot up the albatross once again. Ha, huh, that's not good. So getting into the seat and then just going to, I do like looking at it from first person and go like that and close up the door, it's so good. Anyway, locking them and going forwards, we get a nice amount of speed. Those large iron thrusters and the eight small ones can boost you along quite nicely. Stopping, we have a reasonable amount of stopping time, but you will need to make sure there's plenty of room between you and your destination to make sure you don't come crashing into it. Of course, you can always do a 180 and then boost straight forward if you do need to stop in an instant, but that's entirely up to you. Going left and going right, we are quite slow. That will be because of the lack of thrusters on this ship. Then going down and going up, we're quite fast. So there's that. Wheeling my mouse around, we got a nice amount of control. There's not really any weight to it. It's just a one-to-one -one movement with your mouse. So now it's time for me to get out of this and then spawn in the albatross. So I've spawned in the albatross and it's time to, well, see what we can do with this ship. Coming over to tab number three, let's just test our rocket, test our galling guns. I think it's time to say hello. So here we go, I'm getting close to it. I'm gonna start with the rocket launcher and see how well that goes. Let's see if they can target that rocket launcher first. Just gonna keep bombarding it. Nope, they're just gonna go straight into me. Oh my God, we just got ripped to shreds, but I did manage to hit them. I managed to hit them and lose some reputation. So let me now come and pull a sneaky one, in fact, and just get into this. There we go and just find myself the Matador once again. The video is basically done in case you're wondering there's not too much else to talk about on this ship. Now what are they gonna do? I am inside their ship and I can now destroy it from in here. Ha 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 ha. Just gotta keep blasting it. Oh God, they can actually shoot me from in here. <laughs> I didn't see the turret over there. Let's see if I can get rid of that one. Yes, it's a fantastic little ship. I do like how the doors can open and close on that rotor, it makes it look very sleek when it does it. And yes, it's a very fun little ship. So it'll be in the description below as well as the skybox in case you're wanting to download them. And I'll be back with another showcase video. 
<laughs> some point soon. Bye bye. Oh my god, look at that go. The frame rate, what has happened? Oh, that was one hell of a lot of particle face. But anyway, yes, bye bye. <laughs>